Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to do my review on my itchy nose maybe? On my Colored Rain Vivid Pigments. So I look maybe a little bit crazy today because I used this palette and I wanted to do something fun. But I don't know if it turned out fun or if it turned out crazy. Crazy. So the Vivid Pigments. I'm going to refer as this as a palette in this video even though it's not the palette. It is 16 individual shades. They look like this. I can put up my first impression here in the corner with these shades. I also done a palette bingo with this and yes these are 16 shades that comes with a special magnetic palette just for these shades of course you can buy this magnetic palette and not the shades you can decide for your own but they released at the same time and I bought this in a bundle the palette and all of the shadows. Colored Rain is a cruelty free brand but all the shadows in this palette except for I think it's this one yes except for the unbothered is vegan the unbothered is not vegan but all of the other shadows are but it's a cruelty free brand so what do I think about this? I have heard so much different opinions about this palette some people love it, some people hate it, some people is just okay with it and I like these shadows but they are not all as good as I wanted them to be. Um, today I have made a blue eye and a pink eye and I only used two colors. I have used this, I think it's Drip Drop, my party drip hot drip this pink one and then this super blue that is called yeah that's <laughs> drip drop and they are different part drip this pink one is so easy to work with it's opaque at once it's so easy to blend out it's almost no fallout at all you get this very pink color immediately so it's very easy, but the blue one, the drip drop, I had to pack it on, pack it on, and pack it on. And I was blue down to here, but I got this really, really blue color, so you can do it, but don't <laughs> do your base first. They are very much fallout of some of these colors, especially the blue ones and the purple ones, I think, have the most fallouts. Some of them don't have any fallout at all, but to be on the safe side, don't do your base first. Some of the shades are a little bit drier than the other ones. Some of the purple and some of the blue are dry, the rest of them are super easy. The f color I like the most, or is the easiest to work with in my, what I think is Crushin, is this one. This is super easy, super blendable doesn't have any fallout and it works like a dream and all of the shadows I have tried I have made both only purple looks only blue looks I made a green and blue look I made a blue and a red look I made this one I made the yellow and the pink look it was the first look I did most of the colors blend really good together the only one I don't like as much with other colors is this green one. I think it's level up. Yes. If you put this on top of the other shadow, this turns a little bit dark and a little bit like it loses the green. But if you use it on your own, its own, it's super green and it's super nice. You can see that in my palette bingo when I go up on my crease color the green fades a little bit but you can live with it it doesn't ruin anything and it doesn't look shitty so I love some of them 
I like some of them, but I don't hate any of them. You just have to learn which one you have to work a little bit more with. Like this blue one I have today, you can't like slap it on and you're good to go. You have to pack it on and you have to blend it out, pack it on, blend it out. But you can work with them. No one of these colors are impossible to work with. Yes, that some are super easy, like the pink one, the blue one is not that easy. So you can work with them all, you just have to work a little bit more with some of them. But I think these shadows are very good. They are very nice and they are, I, I think, I would say they are true to color. What you see is what you get. And that I like, I hate colors that look like one thing and are a complete other thing. But I think these are true to color which, which make it so much easier to do your makeup. When you see it, you take it on and it's what you see. I have some negative things to say about this. or Maybe not so negative. But one thing you have to have in mind is they stain your eyes. Some of the colors, this pink stain your eyes pretty much. And also I think it's... This dark blue stain your eyes a little bit and also this red one. You can live with it, it doesn't seem like you have an eye infection or anything. But they stay in your eye a little bit, so just be aware. Just know that, that it can stain a bit. And I use all of these. I don't know where to put it. I can recommend you to not set your base first. I have an eyeshadow primer and then I put the colors straight on the eyeshadow primer and I think it works the best. If you do a base color under, some of the colors are not as strong and, and it's not that easy to work with. But they are not... If you do it on a sticky base, they will not... They are easy to work with on a sticky base. Can I say it like that? Like, I have only used eyeshadow primer and then I put on these two colors today and it it works pretty, it works very good. It doesn't leave any patches, it's going smooth and everything. So that I really like with these strong colors that you are able to work with them. And you don't have to worry about them being patchy. I don't think any one of the colors are patchy. And I'm so glad for that because when I ordered this and I had to wait like maybe two weeks for mine I start to see review videos <laughs> that some people said that these were some of the worst shadows they ever worked with. I don't know if some of the are, some batches maybe are or anything but all my colors are good. They just need somebody somebody some of them need more time than others but you can work with them all no colors are impossible i don't know if review videos is my thing because i don't know what i'm babbling about so yeah i hope you like this video and if you have any questions about these colors just comment down below and i will try to answer them but i can recommend them all in my opinion they are all good shadows. Some of them you need to work with more than others, but you can you can work with them all. Nobody nobody Why am I talking about them like it's a person? No shadow is impossible to work with. That's what I want going to say. So I hope you like this video and if you want me to do more review videos because I never do, I only do first impressions and maybe some makeup tutorial with some of them but if you want me to do more review videos like this video and also please comment what you think i should talk about in my review videos because this video it feels like i'm all over i don't know what to say i don't know what you want to hear so please comment down below what you want me to say in a review video if you want me to do review videos I can put a little card up here 
and you can vote if you want more or you don't want it. Maybe I'm not the person to do review videos, I don't know. But I really hope you enjoy this video and uh, if you don't subscribe, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!